This is odd. I actually feel good. First, let me tell you, I did some Fast and Ninja Warrior training today. This time, my friend Kristen was able to join. And you might recognize her if you happen to see one of my old roundhouse kick tutorials. We're pretty good friends, so needless to say, we had a lot of fun, even though she sucks. Yeah, we're jerks to each other, mostly me. Honestly, she did good. She progressed a lot. But as far as fasting goes, I definitely think that I was weaker, but not to the not the way I expected. I think it's more like because your ability to replenish ATP is hindered, you need more rest in between anaerobic movements. And I still thought since your body's not able to store near as much glycogen, as far as I'm aware, which is just, glycogen is just a way of saying stored glucose. It's like a chain of glucose molecules and you store it in your muscles and they're used with ATP to do like anaerobic intense explosive movements. So with my ability to replenish ATP being slower and less glycogen, I just didn't, I really expected a bigger difference, but I felt pretty good. Okay, I'm stressed, it's high. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, there's a bar above you. Get it, you can do it, you're so no, close. I'm getting down, I'm scared. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Kristen the cameraman. It's not a good thing. you hear that? I said cameraman. Are you triggered? So triggered. I was able to do I was able to do all the same obstacles I normally do. Like there's nothing that was super noticeably different. Although Kristen did say that I was a lot slower in between. I think because I was trying to make sure I saved up my energy. But I think that's just it, is, is when it comes to explosive movements, you are going to be a little bit weaker. You're not going to be able to do as much or as long. But you still can do it, and your endurance for aerobic activity is going to be great. Like, fat is a very efficient fuel source when you're actually in a state of ketosis. Speaking of which, I don't think I'm as keto adapted as I originally thought because I my body had a harder tra time transitioning. And I think that's why yesterday was so hard. And I was like, man, this is not nearly as easy as people say. Like, I can do it. I'm going to do it. But this kind of sucks. I was thinking about food pretty often. And I would have waves, strong waves of hunger hitting me. And then they'd go away. But then they'd come back. I'm like... And I was like, yeah, if I hadn't committed and made a video on this, I'd probably go get myself some low main right now. That'd be bomb. I'm so glad I didn't because today it was like a switch was flipped. Like I must actually be in a deep state of ketosis now because I haven't really felt hungry like at all today. And I felt very calm and peaceful. Like things that might normally bring me anxiety haven't. I don't know, overall it's been pretty positive. It's been a big difference from the past couple days for sure. So you, Simon, the guy that commented saying that you fasted three days, I think that's great. Um, if you felt like you really needed to eat, go ahead, that's, that's great. But just so you know, that high heart rate with the adrenaline and everything, that does change. From yesterday to, to today, today's the first day, my heart rate's been normal again. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, it gets so much easier, it really does. Don't think that that heart, that huge, more rapid heartbeat is constant. And even when it is happening, just go, oh, that's just the increased adrenaline, that's fine. I'm, it's helping me to mobilize fat easier, get in transition to ketosis. But again, today, it's normal, I feel good, I'm not, I'm not really even hungry, it's like, whoa, this is cool. Um, and to help you get to this point, something that helped me yesterday when it was at the worst for me. And to get to help you get to this point, something that helped me yesterday when it was probably the worst. I was thinking about how important mentality is when it comes to stimulus in life, no matter what it is. A saying popped into my head. I was thinking, well, I was thinking about mentality and how important mentality is in changing the way stimulus and a saying popped into my head from um, well it's attributed to Buddha but I think it's actually anonymous saying that pain is inevitable but suffering is voluntary meaning that there are things that are definitely painful like you know you go through a breakup or whatever and sure there's definitely gonna be pain there and that's fine but 
suffering, at least especially prolonged suffering, that's self-induced because if you truly, I don't know anyone who doesn't look at what they can learn from a painful situation and actually learn and change from it. I don't know anyone who ever says they would go back and change that, even in horrific things because that's, that's what made them who they are. So on as much smaller scale, I was thinking, how can I improve my mentality with fasting? I mean, obviously, thinking and focusing on what you're gonna eat when you're done fasting is a lot less constructive than thinking about, I mean, of course think about food and what you're gonna eat when you're done fasting, that's just, that's encouraging pain in the moment. But if you actually focus on what it is that you're achieving, the benefits of autophagy, all the old mutated and possibly precancerous cells in your body getting consumed and improving your longevity, insane benefits of the increased human growth hormone that your body's creating, all those restorative processes, and of course the fat burning, because most of us could use a little of that. Of course Sunday's gonna come, but I'm gonna focus on it and enjoy what I'm doing now and my improving discipline. And then, lucky me, today I actually transitioned into fully into ketosis, because I feel great. I honestly don't think it's gonna be a problem at all to get to Sunday. If jinxing is a thing, I definitely just did it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Peace. You ever seen one of these puppies before? It's called a Kalimba. Kalimba? I think it's Kalimba. And yeah, it's an African instrument. It's a little thumb piano and it sounds amazing. Got one off Amazon recently. Teaching myself a little song. Mind if I play you a little ditty? Pretty sick. Love this thing. You know, you know what else I love? That freaking gorgeous Mount Tempanogos over there. Yo, check it. Check that out. It's like freaking Lord of the Rings out here, man.